Hi guys and welcome back to another flip through from Coloring with Haley. I got my latest issue of Coloring Haven in. This is Heaven, my bad. This is the Burlax Special by Neil Kendall. I don't know how I feel about this one. I think the artwork in it is really nice. I've seen a lot of pictures on Facebook. But the line art is pretty thin for me. It wouldn't be great for um, markers. And obviously this one is a little bit more adult than their other ones. But that's alright. These are based on actual photographs and actual models. So you can go to Neil Kendall's Instagram. And I think, well, it says Instagram.com slash Neil N-E-Z Kendall. That's where you can find him on Instagram. And you can um, find the actual photographs that these were based on. So if you need some inspiration for the page, you can color it that way. I just don't like that the line art is very thin. I only recognize one model in this book. I recognize this model here. This is Violet Chachki. But, I mean, the artwork is fantastic. They did a really good job turning the photographs into coloring pages, I think. I just wish they would have used thicker lines. And some of these are oriented this way. A lot of these, well, it is a burlesque theme, but a lot of these do have, like, you know, an old circus theme, because that's, it kind of fits, you know. Let me get this one back up here. Got this lady on trapeze. We got another circus themed one. I'm gonna have to say that I'm a little bit surprised that they put this one out. Um, just given the theming of it, I think a lot of people would be put off by the theme of it. I like this one too. This one's called the Tiger Tamer. And there are men in here. There are quite a few men in this one, so, you know, this one looks like it has thicker lines than some of the other ones, so, no, it's not too bad. Got this fortune teller, and I love all of these animals. Um, I love the little gator here, a little turtle. There's an armadillo down here. Here's the contortionist. And it gives the names of um, all these models, by the way. Here's another circus one. These are all interesting. None of them are too inappropriate, you know. There's not any full nudity in here or anything, so. I love this one, too. This one's another man. Got another lady here. Like I said, I'm just, I don't know, I'm neither here nor there on it. This is a cute one too. I mean, I like Deborah Muller's artwork and she kind of does burlesque and pin up, but her lines are so much thicker and I think that's what I like about it. Whereas this kind of has thinner lines, especially for uh, the stuff in the background. Some good Halloween pages in here, though. Here's another man. Like, uh, the, it's just very thin lines on, like, the leopard print on his underwear and the leopard skin that he has. It's much better for pencil work, but I can't do pencils because they hurt my hands. Some of these are pretty intricate. I saw some people um, on the group for Coloring Heaven coloring this picture right here called Hula Girl based on the uh, actual image that they found on Instagram and it's turning out really good. Now this one is another one that is like extremely intricate. I just think some of these photos just do not translate very well to coloring pictures. This one's got a lot thicker lines and it would be better for a page I think. This is another one with a guy, I believe. Here's this one, the antlers. I really like this one here titled Moon Girl. Looks like something out of the 1920s to me. And then we have the girl on the moon, 
which is another one I like. Um, I forget what movie this is from, The Moon with the Bullet in its Eye. It's from an old silent film that was really popular, but I cannot think of the name of it now. Gotta do a lot of flipping with this one. This one looks kind of like Star Wars to me. And I like this one too, the sci-fi hat. We have another kind of sci-fi type one. And then a space girl. Hopefully I'm orienting these right for the camera. I keep having to flip it back and forth. We have this girl with a trident. Maybe she is like, oh gosh. What is the name of the water god? Poseidon. Maybe she's supposed to be like Poseidon. There we go. And I believe this is the final image here under the sea. Yes. So that is the flip through of this one. It's great. The artwork in it is lovely. It's beautiful. I don't know if it's for me though, because I don't know how many pages I'm going to actually be able to do with markers. Thank you for watching and let me know your thoughts on the burlesque special. Should Coloring Heaven continue to do more adult themes on their pages or should they keep with the themes that are more enjoyable to everyone, like a kid could color in some of their other ones. I know they recently announced the Coloring Heaven Kids, but still. Let me know what your opinions on this are.